Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and this tutorial is more for beginners and it is about installing Unity and I will share some little secrets that nobody else tells you about which versions should be right for you and what you need to do to start your first project. So you want to navigate to unity.com and you will get the default page here. I'm on the actual US page even though I'm not from the US page because every sort of website looks slightly different but it will follow the same things. You can hit this download button I think it's better to hit pricing and plans just to see this pricing page so you can compare the different things and so I can explain it so you can understand. Now most people will be using Unity Personal and this is free to anybody of any age of any time and the only difference is if you earn over $100,000 in the last 12 months you would need to upgrade to Unity Pro and you would need to pay monthly or yearly depending on your fee. But of course if you're making $100,000 from making games and this is a small fee to pay and then you will get a limit of one million dollars that you can make before you need to pay any additional royalties to unity so don't worry about that so you can click download unity personal there and then when you're on this page you can just click a download for windows and it will download unity hub then once this happens you will get the terms of services for unity and i've got a video all about the new terms of services that you might want to look at and I'll leave the link in the description if you want to take up more details. But as I've said, I've covered the basics when we looked before, we'll just agree. And I'm just going to install Unity Hub exactly where you want it. You can browse and then just click install. Then I just want to choose to run Unity Hub. And then when you run Unity Hub for the first time, it will ask you to log in and you can create a brand new Unity account if you need to do that by clicking create account. And it will take you to the page where you can create a free account. And Unity Hub may ask you to do one of two things when you first launch it, either install a editor version which you can just click to install, or I'll ask you to sign in and do something from there. Now, if you do choose to install, you can follow those steps, or if you need to do this manually, you can click on the installs tab on this left-hand side, and these are what you currently have installed on your machine. And if you need to download something new, you could just click install editor in the top corner, which are the current releases, and it's good to stick to the LTS releases of whichever version you want to use, because LTS just means long-term support, and that's something which will be updated the most. I would stay away from any beta versions or anything that don't have LTS support. Now, if you do need a previous version for whatever reason, you can go to the download archive by clicking the archive button and then running down the website and deciding which one you want, click on Unity Hub and this will install directly into Hub for you. So let's say I wanted this newest version, 2022.316. At this time, I can hit install and I can choose that I want to install Visual Studio Community 2022. And you can choose any other support that you want to build by. So say you're creating for mobile, you can have iOS build support or anything like that. You can add these later, so don't worry about it just yet. And I'll show you how to add these if you need to. But you can just press continue and accept the terms and conditions. And as I said, while well, that's downloading for me, if you want to add anything to any of the current installs, if you click on the install tab and click on the little cog, you can click add modules and you can add any of the modules that you might have been missing if you need to add those to a particular editor version that you have. And just so that you're aware, when you're in Hub, you may need to activate the license in the top corner. It may say activate license, but if not, you can go to manage licenses. You can go to your licenses tab and you may need to add, just add a personal license to be able to use everything that you need to. So after everything is installed, Visual Studio may well pop up and you can press the continue button and it will ask you to what modules you want to install and you can just choose to scroll down and choose the gaming and the Unity game development packages. You can, it will choose to add Visual Studio tools for Unity and you can untick Unity Hub because you already have it and you can install any additional and you can just hit install and it will install everything that you need for you. This will take a determined amount of time depending on how fast your internet speed is and how quick your computer will go. After it's installed, you may want to launch Visual Studio by clicking the little button and it will ask you to sign in and make sure you create a free Microsoft account or sign in with your own account that you do have. Thankfully, it signs in exactly without me needing to do anything. Now we can go back to Unity Hub for the first time and you have different tabs. And if you click on the Learn tab, you will can learn other things from Unity. And of course, you could check out my channel, Speed Tutor, for all the tutorials related to Unity and Game Dev and everything that you need to know. So then if we want to create our first project, you can click New Project at the top as long as you're on the Projects tab. And you can choose one of the different packages that they have. Now, this is really important to understand that the 2D and 3D are called the built-in render pipeline. 
And that is something that's been supported for the longest time possible. And the biggest thing to remember that a vast majority of assets on the Unity Asset Store will be featured in these two sections. Now, if you look at URP for 3D and 2D, that's the universal render pipeline, and that is becoming the more common version to use in Unity. But do be aware that not as much content on YouTube and on the Unity Asset Store will support that pipeline. But as I say, it is becoming more and more common. And HDRP is the high definition one, and you'll find much less content, and I would probably avoid that if you're a beginner. It'll be fine to start with 3D or 3D URP. The very similar but the slight differences for either of the two would not be a bad start for the first time. And you can always add the URP into your default scene if you need it at a later date, so you don't have to worry. And if you need to get this, you can just download the template in the corner to make sure that you can then use it. So I'm just gonna do a normal 3D template. And do be aware, you can actually change which version you launch your project in at the top here, and you can change which one when you start a new one just in case you want to choose something new. I'm going to call it the awesome project, save it where I want. I don't want to connect to Unity Cloud Services or version control unless you're using that and you can just hit create project. And of course, while Unity launches, you can always add old projects that might be on your PC by clicking this add button in the projects tab and you can search in your computer, find the Unity folder and just add it here. So you'll be in Unity for the first time and we'll just test it out by creating a brand new C Sharp script. I will open that up in Visual Studio and we just want to check that our IntelliSense is working so we can write something .debug.log and then just this is working. So we can just test that it's all working. The IntelliSense seemed fine. I'm just going to add something to my object and press play and you can see that it works. Everything seems to be connected and we can ready to develop. Do let me know if you have any problems at all and I'll answer them down in the comments. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 220 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Do check out all my links below for all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev. And special thank you to all my patrons. Massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.